everybody, in light of the season that we're in, fall, it's getting cooler outside, everybody's wearing their scarves, and we all want some comfort food. But it doesn't mean that we have to have all of the fat and calories and super heavy carbs all the time. So today we're going to make something really, really fun. This is going to be fun for the kids or just yourself. We are making sweet potato jack-o'-lantern fries. Woo! Say that quickly. Sweet potato jack-o'-lantern fries. You try it now. So what you need is two large sweet potatoes. Just make sure they're a really good size because the bigger the sweet potato that you get, the more fun that you can have carving them. So what I'm gonna start with, I've already peeled the sweet potato and I've cut it in half. So we're gonna cut a nice V shape down your sweet potato. So just to save time, I've already done that. So be really, really careful. Obviously this one's not for the kids. Parents do this one. So a nice V shape right down the center. And from here, we're gonna cut about a quarter inch thick for the jack-o'-lantern. So we get these nice little pieces just like this. And I discovered something that was far faster than cutting the eyes into triangles. If you have one of these hard plastic straws, it's so much easier just to pop it down in there and pop out the eyes. So we're making some eyes, and then you need to cut a little mouth. We wanna make it smile. So we're just gonna do a little V and another little V and cut straight across, pop it out. And we have these adorable little faces. So what we're gonna do is we take a large Ziploc bag because we need to make these taste amazing now too. So just for fun, we've already got some in there without faces, but we'll put our little guy in the bag. And from here, just take a spray. I like to use just an organic olive oil spray. You can use coconut oil if you like. And just spray in the bag and make sure they're really coated. Shake that around. So once they're coated, you're gonna add your spices. So we have got cinnamon. We have 1 8 teaspoon cinnamon. Sprinkle that in the bag. We have curry powder, 1 8 teaspoon curry powder. Amazing, this is where that really delicious, I think it tastes like fall. Whenever I taste curry, it just tastes warm and spicy and amazing. And we've also got 1 8 teaspoon cayenne. I am warning you. The kids may not like it this spicy, so just do a tiny pinch if that's the case. Otherwise, if you like a little bit of savory and spice, pour that all in there. And then we have one half teaspoon onion powder. This adds a little bit more flavor. And salt to taste. I would try starting out with like a half teaspoon and going up to like three quarters of a teaspoon. So zip up that Ziploc bag. Here's where the kids can have a little bit of fun. Make sure you shake it all around. Do something fun with it. So next you're gonna place this on your cookie sheet and you're just going to bake this in the oven, turn up your oven to 400, preheat it, place these nicely on your cookie sheet and we're gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. And through the magic of television, I have just grabbed our completed jack-o'-lantern sweet potato fries. So look at how cute these are. They are nice and browned and they're asking to be eaten actually. That's them asking. So now the best part, we have to try these. Mm. Whoa. These are actually better than expected. <laughs> these are really, really incredible. Put some ketchup on a plate have these at a party. It might be a little bit time consuming doing the faces, but honestly, they're so much fun and they're so cute. They agree. We agree. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.